The chairman of the caretaker committee of the All Progressive Congress, Mai Malabuni, on Friday said President Muhammad Buhari has formally endorsed Usagi Zeyamu as the party's candidate in the Edo State governorship election. He told State House correspondents that the president presented the party's flag to Zeyamu during a meeting they had with him at the presidential villa Abuja. Isayamu also told reporters that there is no truth in the claim that members of the State House of Assembly who met on Thursday and elected a factional speaker did so inside his house. We are now joined by social commentator Leonard Ibute. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, good morning. Thank you for having me. W what is the importance of uh, the president's um, endorsement of the APC candidates in the face of the raging crisis in Edo State? Uh, in terms of actual importance to the electoral process itself, um, it's, uh, it's a little doubtful. I mean, the president is a member of the APC, and as such, um, it is expected that he will support members of his party in the various offices. So um, it's not unexpected. So in terms of importance, I don't attach a lot of importance to it, but in terms of significance, he draws a third line of distinction between uh, Buhari, the politician, and Buhari, the statesman. Go a little further with that. You know, what, what, what do you mean, the uh, statesman and the politician? So one would expect, right, that um, a few months after a sitting um, governor under the, the APC, is removed from, I mean, is denied the party ticket under very strange and unprecedented circumstances that the president would distance himself um, at least for, to an extent from that kind of uh, involvement, from this kind of involvement. What I mean is that just a few months ago, Basiki was an APC member who had no issues whatsoever with the presidency who seems to have been fighting an ongoing battle with um, uh, Adam Sushomole, who, by the way, has now been removed as the party chairman. And all of that, you know, um, if you like, bouquet of controversies around all of this, you would expect that at the very least, a statesman would um, play behind the scene or just observe the, the whole scenario so as not to appear to be interfering with the wills of the people of a state, also as not to appear to be part of that controversy. That's what statesmanship would, would be about. But a politician wants to win every election anyway, anyhow. And so in in in, in overtly endorsing um, Ezra Yamu, uh, which is well within Buhari's rights to do, he has speech distance in the camp of the politician. All right. And it is unfortunate. All right. Governor Basaki's aide has also reacted, saying the endorsement was forced. Uh, do you believe uh, that, of course, uh, um, that may have happened? And, of course, do you believe the party pressure is more than the president's stance on corruption? Um, of course, you, that would also make you remember that there is a matter of about 700 billion Nara corruption allegation um, uh, on um, Izayamu. Uh, no, I don't, I don't believe it is false for two reasons. The first one being that, let's not forget that Buhari is not just a member of the APC. It is that actually the APC contraction was created for Buhari. The, the express image of the party as it were is Buhari. So Buhari has absolutely nothing to fear from the party hierarchy, whether he endorses Ezeyamu or not. Let us also remember that the president is not on any ballot for any election, any time, ever, you know. And so there is really no, um, no hold anybody would have on him. He has nothing to gain or lose from what he has done. He has merely made a choice, and that choice is to put the dictates of the party ahead of, um, 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 you know, to reflect, to allow himself to reflect the image of the party in this endorsement. So I'm saying that the APC and Buhari are thinking in the same way. They are thinking as a political institution that wants to win an election rather than um, any engine of development, as it were, any engine of integrity, as it were. And that's, that's the significance of this. 
All right, I then. do not believe that Buhari was forced. Yeah, um, of course, um, and following up to all these um, um, incidents, the Punch newspaper also claims to have obtained a letter from the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Mal Malami San, directing the IGP to provide security for the inauguration of uh, 14 members um, elect and three other members of the Edo State House of Assembly on Thursday. What would you describe um, as the implication of such a move? Well, there, like, you see, um, Edo State has been monkeying with the whole concept of electoral democracy for a very long time. Um, first of all, it is an aberration that duly elected members of the House have not been sworn in until this moment, for whatever reason. It, it, it's unprecedented. Secondly, as um, it is well within Malami's right to um, respond to letters requesting for um, protection of, 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 of elected House members. I mean, the irony is if an elected House member in a constituency would require federal might to be protected in his own constituency, it shows to you already that there is a problem. So I, I wouldn't join the ranks of people that would criticize Malami for wanting to protect the life of any Nigerian, more so the life of embattled and, and House members. All right, of course, your quick thoughts on the controversy around the Edo State House of Assembly as it stands. Like, like, like I said, um, there, there has been a, the Edo House of Assembly has, all, has been, up to this moment, a mockery of um, the democratic experiment. And there's a lot of brigandage happening there over the years, and it is becoming institutionalized. It's almost, it almost, it's almost become looking like a culture of um, the most insane, the most, the most, the most. Um, the most um, unimaginable keep happening there. And so there is no difference between what is happening in this house and what has happened in the previous houses. Um, it is sad for the people of, of Edo State. I beg to say that until um, real constitutional democracy is taught, and I mean taught in class to the electoral cadre in Edo State, this will remain as it is, because it's almost as if uh, it's like the National Union of Road Transport Workers election in motor parks. That's how they do state um, uh, apparatus of government as being particularly at the legislative level. Thank you very much for sharing uh, your thoughts with us, Leonard Ebute, and uh, we hope to speak with you again. Thank you.